Hey, welcome back to uh, episode three of my MTS Beginners hugging a group and playing ARC with a bunch of random strangers. Um, so it's day three in our wipe and we still haven't unlocked Broodmother. We've been moving a little slow and today we were going to change that. So I logged in and the first order of business was to get us some Procroptodon so that we could knock out that Broodmother fight. Uh, so I headed over to Extinction and started knocking some of those bad boys out. While I was out there and waiting for those Procoptodons to get up, I found a couple of high-level Ankies and decided to tame them too because uh, my tribe mates like to take things out of the base and not breed them or keep breeding lines. So uh, I was trying everything that I could to make sure that we had breeders and a uh, steady flow of farming dinos in the base. Once we had all the Procoptodons tamed up and those two Ankies that I found, it was just a matter of getting the artifacts. One of my tribe mates had already gotten the tributes, so artifacts were the last thing on the list for us to do an Alpha Brood. For the Alpha Brood Mother, you need the artifact of the Massive, the Clever, and the Hunter. And so, not having done this on the island before, I decided to start with the Clever. So, I'm not a big fan of the island and I don't know my way around that much, but uh, since we were on these beginner servers, I decided to go for the Clever on the island. There was a cave just underneath the main volcano and uh, you just run inside. It was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be uh, for a, you know, like a, a cave, an artifact cave. But I pretty much just ran in, ran past everything. I had a full kit, shotgun, grapples, parachutes, and jumped and parachuted my way past everything. Uh, overshot my jump here and landed in a pool of water, collected the, uh, the, the artifact, and then GTFO got back to base. Uh, uploaded it as quickly as possible and we were done with part one of this three-step adventure. I went to go check on the hunter artifact, and when I ran into the hunter cave on the island, I uh, got detected by a parasaur, and I could see that somebody was living in the in the cave, so uh, yeah, the hunter on the island was going to be a no-go. Uh, I'm not going to raid these people just for an artifact. Maybe I could have asked him, like, hey, can you guys hook me up with an artifact? But uh, I didn't think of it at the time, so I decided to do the Lava Golem on Ragnarok instead. Uh, fucking hate that place. It's lag central, but uh, yeah. So I skipped the Hunter for now and moved on to getting the massive artifact. Now I wish I could say that this artifact cave was as easy as the rest, but uh, it was not. I died so many fucking times trying to get this artifact. I've, I've never been in this cave, and so I didn't watch a YouTube video. I, just, I, I watched a YouTube video that told me that it's in that cave, and then I just stopped and went for the cave, right? I didn't actually like watch a guide on how to get to the actual artifact. But fuck, man, I, I went into this cave, you know, thinking I was, you know, fucking hotshot, and just got wrecked. And I respawned at base, re-kit, came back, got wrecked. Respawned at base, re-kit, came back, got wrecked. I ended up putting a one by one above the lava golem the, the the lava cave on the island just so i could spawn closer and not have to run across the fucking beach to get back there because we're looking at like a couple minutes turn around for me to get back to the to the lava cave but fuck my tribe was laughing at me watching my stream just watching me fail miserably at getting this easy artifact i mean it's it, it's actually really fucking easy to get but i was just a fucking moron um i finally just started running in naked i'd punch a tree to get a thatch so i could make an omni tool and so i could pull things to my inventory and I was just pulling my kit to myself, getting deeper and deeper. I felt like, you know, uh, what was that movie where they're learning the secrets of the jungle one step at a time? <laughs> we dodge left, dodge right. Those are the secrets of the jungle. Um, but yeah, every, every time I thought I was doing great, you know, I get pinned against like an invisible barrier by a scorpion and then get swarmed by Onik or, you know, some bullshit. Or I fall in the lava because I miscalculated a jump. Uh, but yeah. On. Load, load, load. After many attempts and many deaths, I finally got the artifact and got the fuck out of there. Thank fucking God this part was over. Uh, next step would be to get the Lava Golem uh, Hunter artifact. Yay, I get to go into lag central lava pits with instant lava death instead of, you know, 
some reasonable lava that, you know, you fall into it and it does some tick damage. No, this is fucking instant death lag lava. It's the worst. So I'll be honest, eh, I probably could have aimed a little higher on this shot, but I've, I've made this kind of shot before and made it across this kind of chasm before. Uh, yeah, so I, I made the shot and I got stuck on the ledge, couldn't get over, tried to do the jumpy thing and uh, ended up jumping into the lava. Wonderful. So once I died, uh, I was there with a buddy. My buddy came and cooped up my scooped up my body and uh, he ended up picking up the artifact. And while we were getting out, we got PVP'd and I got uh, Tyrannosaurus wrecked. But my buddy made it out alive and he managed to get the artifact into the upload. So we now had everything we fucking needed to do an alpha boss fight. Finally, the fucking grind for boss fight is over. We can do it. Yay. So once again, we crafted up the best shotguns that we could, crafted up a ton of ammo, we prepped our Procoptodons, and we headed out in search for a drop so that we could spawn the Alpha Broodmother fight. And this was it. We had the artifacts, we had the attributes, we had the ammunition, and the Procoptodons. Our tribe was ready, it was time to finally do the Broodmother and get tech turrets so that we could feel a little bit safer at night under the protection of tech turrets instead of just heavies because uh like i said it's day three and we're still ru uh, running a little bit behind slacking uh it, it's it's day three uh I, I i think we're doing decent progress but uh we're still in my opinion a little bit behind the bell curve some of these people get this stuff done day one and yeah so uh, it, it felt good getting this boss fight knocked out uh and getting tech turrets rather soon So I guess every every player, every arc player, especially every YouTuber, has a brood mother horror story. Uh, I'm I'm nothing special here. Um, this on this fight, uh, both of my buddies got clacked out uh, along with the Procoptodon, just like pretty much before they could get onto the mushroom. I, and one of the guys had never driven a Procoptodon before, so he kept failing the jump like me. And I guess he fell right onto the brood mother, and she clacked him out like one shot him. And then I managed to get up on the ledge, uh, but when my homie jumped out, he fell off, so I had to go rescue him. And so it was just a, a botched Broodmother fight, right? Uh, the Broodmother never goes perfect. So anyways, uh, we were down two, and we finally managed to get back up onto the mushroom and started DPSing it down. Uh, with uh, the shortage of players, uh, we were kind of running it close on whether we could be able to beat the boss or not with the DPS we had. When I shot my friend in the head, bringing our numbers down to three, and we didn't have enough DPS to kill the Broodmother, and we ended up losing the boss fight and all of our shit, and pretty much getting sent back to heavy turrets and, you know, fuck your tech turret dreams. So, at this point, tensions were pretty fucking high in the tribe. And I honestly thought our tribe was going to fall apart and people were going to quit. Uh, There's a lot of work getting boss fight shit done. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the morale of a tribe is a sensitive and delicate little flower that you got to be very gentle with or else it'll just fucking wither and die. And people will rage quit and tell you to fuck off and leave, leaving you one member short of a six man tribe and having to look for more. But uh, our, our pug team, our rando, my internet randos pulled together and uh, we, uh, we didn't break apart, we didn't, we didn't quit. Uh, we just basically took the, took the slap in the face. You know, everybody gave me shit for killing our buddies, but like, you know, this kind of hap that kind of shit happens in ARC. You know, sometimes I fuck up, sometimes you fuck up, but we, we all pulled together. And you know, leave it to a little bit of external stimulus to bring us back together. But while we were kind of having arguments and stuff in the tribe, one of our tribe mates got killed by some heavy turrets in our easy underwater cave, the cave that we had planned to make our home base. And then we were suddenly like a bunch of angry ants, like, oh, fuck, no, you're not moving into our cave. And so we all kind of like snapped out of poor us, poor me. We died to the fucking brood mother. And we got into, we need to wipe these motherfuckers out before they take our cave mode. And so we pulled back together and prepped to find out what was going on in easy underwater. Who had turrets in our fucking cave?
I remember this part specifically well, but I, I was just getting gear. My, my tribe mates were currently fighting some people in our easy underwater and I was getting gear to bring over to the fight. And so I brought a Basilosaurus over and got off of it and was doing something. And one of my tribe mates grabbed it and he was like, oh, here, let me take it real quick. I promise it won't get killed. And I was like, uh, all right, but we need that to soak. And he was like, yeah, I promise I won't get killed. And then like 10 seconds later, he got it killed. I was like, motherfucker. Uh, just kind of looking back on this video, that shit cracked me up. At this point, none of us really knew what to expect. I had gotten there with some of the gear that I was going to use to fight. And I started pushing up. They had cleared the first turret. Like it was just a little pillbox with a couple of turrets. And we thought that was it, but I'd seen a Manigarmer and I was shotgunning the Manigarmer and the Manigarmer started to retreat further back into the cave. So I was like, okay, well let's fucking kill this Manigarmer. So I start pushing up into the cave uh, ahead of my team and I see like a full little starter base. You know, there's some Argents, there's a like a like a pillbox with turrets and hatch frames. And it's like, oh shit, guys, there's people living here. Like it wasn't just that little turret fob. And so it was like, oh fuck. And so we proceeded to PVP for a bit and uh, to assess what the real situation was.
So we ended up looting a pretty decent sniper rifle BP, uh, something in the high 200s and, uh, after craft. And so our boy Carney on the sniper rifle was just fucking wrecking these dudes. Uh, they couldn't really snipe us. They were trying to snipe us, but he just kept one tapping them. And at some point they ran out of flak and they were using hide armor and then they were naked. And uh, he was pretty much just keeping them suppressed in their base while we took care of their teams. I respawned at base and re-kit and came back with a bunch of gear, flak, rocket launchers, and a rhino so we can finally push these guys off. That explosion scared the ever-living shit out of me, dude. I jumped. That's the first time I've ever been C4 trapped in my arc career. And let's just say it wasn't fun. I turned this easy raid into a hard raid. The enemy now had a rhino that could one-tap us, a bunch of C4, and rockets. Way to go, OPSEC. Way to go. I'll be honest, the, the tribe was kind of pissed about that loss when I told him what I lost, but you know, <laughs> shit happens, you know, you, 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 sometimes you feed the enemy some good shit, sometimes they feed you some good shit, but we pulled together and continued fighting. So now that the enemy had C4, my buddies were kind of uh, nervous to push up, so I used myself as a human meat shield to inspect every foundation and every corner for C4 traps so that we could push up safely, and if I died, who gave a shit? So I think at this point it's also kind of important to point out that there was some arguments going on in the tribe. A lot of the guys just wanted a PvP and they were having fun, which, yeah, this is fun. But uh, we needed to wipe these people and we needed to come prepared. We were not prepared. We were just kind of like bootstrap, you know, flying, shooting by the hip. I mean, you can see I'm running around with like, you know, no gear. The dude had to throw me down a pistol because we didn't have backup gear. We didn't have a backup fob. We didn't have a point to retreat to. We didn't have turrets. We didn't have foundation control or anything. We didn't have the C4 to blow up anything. And we didn't have the teams to soak their turrets. So all we were going to do is pretty much sit outside of their turrets and kill each other. It's not really wiping them. So I was kind of getting heated because I was saying that we needed to go back, regroup and get prepared. They weren't wanting to do that. And then somebody talked about throwing our only stego out at the wall. So like instead of prepping a proper little wiping fob, they wanted to just, you know, like half acidly go at it, which I kind of put my foot down because uh, we didn't have any tames. We'd been focusing on kind of stupid shit. We just lost a boss fight and we didn't have any proper, like you know, like raiding tames. Uh, so I was like, no, you're not you're not going to take the fucking stego out unless we're properly prepared. And so. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out that th there was there was a lot of arguments going on about how things should be done.
So at about this time, I guess the tribe came to an agreement that we were going to throw in one of our pair racer breeding pairs. Uh, we had a male and a female, but the female was on cooldown from server transfer. And so I'd been waiting for that cooldown to hit before we could breed them. Uh, but they decided they were going to, you know, throw in the breeding pair. Uh, or, or the male at least. Uh, and let the female cool down. And so we had a pretty decent regular pair racer riding saddle. But we didn't have a, a box saddle. So we decided to use the pair racer uh, without a box saddle. Uh, so we threw that out and pushed that in. Yeah, so the plan was to uh, walk up, aim up so that my head was sticking forward and go in K mode and kind of soak in K mode while keeping the parries are looking up. You know, one thing I hate about this game is that fucking body bag thing. When you're in a war, in a fight, you don't have time to clear your body bag and sometimes you can't even get to your body bag because it's in their base because they, you know, grappling hook it. And so you got that green beam that just fucks your vision. Fuck you, you know. <laughs> I, I, you'd like to see what's in front of you? Nah, body bag beam, go fuck yourself. You're blind. Uh, but yeah, so I, I had body fucking beams everywhere. I'm trying to soak the shit, couldn't see anything. It was wonderful, love it. Oh, and I was naked because we didn't come prepared. I didn't have any spare flak for me to use. So yeah, right now my biggest worry is that guy with the rocket launcher using the rockets that, you know, I, I donated to them so generously in that C4 trap. So yeah, I was worried about uh, a stray rocket one-shotting me off the back of the Paracer. So I was trying to coordinate with my guys that as soon as they killed Homeboy with the rocket launcher, I was gonna hop on and soak. And so that's why I'm waiting around underneath his feet, not soaking. it that's exactly what i was worried about so yeah like i said we didn't have foundation control we didn't have any beds pushed up we didn't have anything pushed up so i had to spawn at our fob that was like a million miles away and then swim all the way back and then start soaking again
But yeah, so while I was soaking that turret, I was trying to like, you know, pounce on the paracers to make it to where my character was moving up and down and hard to hit because I was naked and these dudes were like swarming all around me, uh, shooting at me with everything that they had. And so I was just trying to make myself as hard as target to hit as possible. Meanwhile, my guys are, you know, telling me to push up, push up, push up, and I'm just trying to take my sweet time. Uh, I noticed one of the guys playing with the turret settings, but it was kind of like heat of the moment, uh, the turret stopped firing. And I was like, holy shit, I, could they be soaked? Like, the, I mean, they, they didn't really have much to begin with, but those, you know, like handful of turrets were just really, you know, keeping us at bay. Uh, so one of our guys just said, push up, push up. And so I pushed up and got shot off. And then that pair racer got killed. They, they DPS it down and our raid was done. Uh, we, we, I mean, they're, they're such an easy raid, but we just, we were not prepared. We couldn't, I mean, we, we could have probably grappling hooked that or, you know, ran up with the pair racer and rocket ran it. There, there's so many things that we could have done, but we did it so half acidly and so fast that we weren't prepared for that simple little raid. And so uh, we took two big L's that day. We lost uh, Broodmother and we failed to push these guys out of uh, easy underwater. But, you know, I, I wasn't really worried about these guys because we had the front of the cave sealed off and we had Pearl Cave. So uh, in the grand scheme of things, we were way better off. We had tech, we had transmitter, we were able to farm. Uh, these guys were still prim. Uh, they were prim locked. The, the only way they could farm is to like suicide, transfer off server, tame stuff on another server, keep it on another server, farm, and then transfer into the space. So uh, the amount of work that they would need to do to farm up and become a real big threat to us was quite a bit. And it was already late into the day, and I think they were mostly Americans, so I, I wasn't really worried about them building up. On the other hand, my plan was to go back to base, get some sleep, wake up, and then farm up. And, and, and do it properly. Like, it's just, you know, I want a devastating blow, one swing, one decapitation. Just get that shit fucking done with. None of this fucking petty running around naked and fucking scrounging together what little stuff we have. No, I'm talking about fucking complete and other domination control, foundation control, pushing up. Fuck them. And so, yeah, uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, that's as far as uh, we got for, for this day. Um, I really enjoyed going over all this footage. I had a blast watching everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this content. Uh, I'm really enjoying making it a lot. Uh, I'll try to get the next video out as soon as possible, uh, where we finally deal with these easy underwater guys. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that fancy stuff, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.